Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fastlane truck, and this is the 2016 Lexus GX460. And we have taken it into deep snow, deep mud, up hills, through ruts, on the highway, <laughs> on back roads, you name it. But the one place we haven't taken it is up Gold Mine Hill. And so coming up next, we're going to give that a shot using this. This is a Toyota Sourced 4.6 liter V8. It puts out 301 horsepower and 329 pound-feet of torque. And it's hooked up to a, well, frankly, old six-speed automatic transmission. What I mean by that are other vehicles in this class have seven and eight-speed automatic transmissions nowadays. Now, the reason why I complain about that is because combined, this gets 17 miles per gallon. Yes, it has a Mark Levinson sound system. Yes, it has absolutely sumptuous leather, woods, and magnificent trim. But if you're going to buy this vehicle, this is the reason why you buy it. And that's right down here. And these are the four-wheel drive controls or off-road controls. Now, you can actually change the comfort of the suspension with a flip of a switch right here, from sport to comfort and in between. You can actually change the four-wheel drive system right here from high four to low four that simple. And then as you go in crawl control up the hill, you can control the speed right here, go faster or slower. And then finally, of course, you're able to lift and lower the suspension by using the switch right here. Now there is more to it than that, of course, but basically this is your main command center for this four wheel drive system. And frankly, folks, if you're not going to go off road, there are better vehicles to buy. All right, I'm going to turn on the camera. It's kind of cool. It shows you what's happening at the front bumper and at this side door where there's a mirror. There's so many settings in this vehicle. You can lock the diff. You can actually, this whole thing I could do without touching either the gas pedal or brake if I wanted to, but I don't. <laughs> but the ascent control I've played with it before and it works just fine. It figures things out and it works primarily with the ABS system trying to find which tire has the best grip and shifting power to it. It's kind of an unusual sensation. I really love this camera though. This is cool. It's not really giving me a lot of information that I need like this height of some of the rocks I'm going over like the one I just did. But this side camera here is nice because I can easily tell from the driver's side how much space I have, but this gives me a little bit of an idea of what's going on over there, which is nice to have. All right, so the first part, <laughs> big surprise, was done with no problem, and this is where I stop, and that kills all the momentum. It's kind of hard to believe that Lexus wanted this to be a serious off-road vehicle. The reason why is because of this, and that, and then back there. You see, the approach, departure, and breakover angles have all been compromised by adding stuff to this truck. This sidestep alone gets rid of several inches. Now you're going to see on your screen what the approach, departure, and breakover angles are. However, I can tell you, this is the reason why we did not take it up another more difficult hill that we've recently discovered and started using. The four-wheel drive system in this vehicle is more than adequate to handle just about anything that comes at you. But with this stuff in the way, we would ruin it. From here, accelerating and then going around that really steep uh, corner, which has a really deep rut in it, that's difficult for some vehicles. And in snow, it's damn near impossible for some. Now, so far, the only slippage I felt was on a couple rocks that were loose. But I'm pretty sure these Michelin tires are absolutely fine with this. But I think that there's going to be an issue with loose dirt. And we're about to find out if it's gonna lose some traction 
I just wanna make sure I have room for the trees. Once again, I'm using this. This is cool. I'm using that camera. It's, it doesn't matter. It's fine. No problem. You don't even really need the momentum. I heard one wheel just go for just like a second. It's no problem at all. The final obstacle should be interesting. The deep rut on the left, on the driver's side, is what really catches vehicles off. And every time we use it, we make it that much deeper. <laughs> so yeah, it's getting pretty bad now. getting to a point where with a little bit more rain and uh, snow the erosion's going to kill it <laughs> so we can only use it now <laughs> a year from now who knows all right here we go I'm just gonna stay light on the accelerator Okay, so now let's lock it. So the diff is locked and put it into low. Shall we try again? No problems. Got the front end to come up the ground a little bit. But in essence, what it really needs to get over that big ditch is both wheels pushing it at the same time. You have to have a, just enough articulation so you can get some traction, but you really don't need a crazy amount of it. Well, we've had to cut our action and adventure day a little bit short because it's starting to rain and that'll destroy our camera equipment. But the timing's good because we were able to get up the final obstacle really with no problem. I'm pretty sure that if I had a little bit of momentum, I could have done it in four high, but putting it in four low and locking everything up, well, it's just kind of a way of showing off because it's overkill. That's one of the things that really bugs me about this vehicle. Look, it's nearly $69,000 and it's serious off-road tech, yet it's equipped with all that stuff hanging underneath it, the nose in the center and at the tail to where if you're going off-road with any obstacle that's just a little too high, you run the risk of tearing that steps clean off. It's kind of a bummer. Still, it was a good, fun, proper off-road vehicle for the Fastlane truck. This is Nathan Adlin. See you guys later. If I can catch up to him before the turn. Floored. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, it's just clawing for the road. Oh, it's pushing me back like you wouldn't believe. That's, well, that's, uh, that is double digits. And here comes the motorcycle before the turn. Oh my god! <laughs>